In this video lesson, we will learn how to plot linear functions. First, let's take a look at some examples of linear functions. Here we have 2x minus 1. As another example, y equals 3x plus 2. Another linear function is 1 half x plus 3 fourths. In general, all linear functions have some number multiplied times x plus another number. Now I'll write down four more functions, some of which are linear, but some that aren't. Here's the first function, 2x plus 1. Second one is y equals x squared minus 1. Next, we have the square root of x. And the last one is just going to be y equals 2 over x. The only linear function is y equals 2x plus 1, because it has x times a number plus some other number. Now we are ready to plot our linear function. We'll take y equals 2x plus 1. First, we will make a table of values for x and their corresponding values of y. We will take x equals 0, 1, 2, and 3. If x equals to 0, our function tells us that y equals to 2 times 0 plus 1, which simplifies to just 1. Now all we have to do is replace x with 1. So now y is 2 times 1 plus 1, which is simply equal to 3. Now that we have a table of values, the question is, how do we graph our linear function? The answer is simple. The graph of a linear function is always a straight line. All we need is two points and a ruler, and then we connect the two points with the ruler, and there we have it. The two points we will use are just the top two rows of our table. x equals 0, which gives y equals 1, and x equals 1, which gives y equals 3. Here are our ordered pairs. Now allow me to quickly draw our coordinate plane with its two axes. Our first point is 0, 1, which is simply 1 above the origin. So here we have it labeled. The next point is 1, 3. The 1 means it's 1 to the right of the origin, and the 3 means it's 3 above. So here we have 1 to the right and 3 up. And here's the point. Now that we have two points, all it takes is a ruler to connect them into a straight line. And this will be the plot of our equation. And there it is. Don't forget to put arrows on both ends and then label this line with its function y equals 2x plus 1. According to the table, the point x equals 2, y equals 5 must also be on this line. Just to check, there it is indeed. At 2 to the right and 5 above the origin, the point is on the line. So it has been drawn correctly. Now I will clean up before the next example. Now we will graph the function y equals negative 3x plus 2. We will again make a table of values for x and y. But now we will just take x equals 0 and x equals 1, because we know we only need two points to graph a line. If x equals 0, then y equals just 2. Next, if x equals to 1,
then we get negative 3 times 1 plus 2, which is just negative 3 plus 2, which is just negative 1. The ordered pairs for the two points are then 0, 2, and 1, negative 1. The first point is just 0, 2, which is 2 above the origin. So here I'm drawing it. The next point, 1, is one negative 1, is 1 to the right and 1 down from the origin. Next, we, as usual, use our ruler to connect the points. We draw the arrows on the ends and we label the line. And here's a completed graph, a plot of the function negative 3x plus 2. Now notice, this line slopes down. This is because the negative coefficient in front of the x. I'll explain more clearly with another example of plotting a linear function but this other function will face a different direction. Now I'll clean up a little bit, but I will leave the plot of negative 3x plus 2 so that we can compare it to the next example. This next example will have fractions in it. This time y equals 3 over 2 times x minus 1. As usual, we plug in x equals 0 for our first point. If x equals 0, then of course y equals, according to our formula, 3 over 2 times 0 minus 1. In other words, y would equal negative 1. So we record this value and we move on to x equals 1. If x equals 1, then y equals 3 over 2 times 1 minus 1. So we simplify this. Anything times 1 is itself, so it's just 3 halves minus 1. And then 1 is the same as 2 over 2. And now we can finish the calculation. So y equals to 1 half. Now we are ready to plot these two points and to connect them to make the plot of our linear function. 0, negative 1 is just 1 below the origin. 1, 1 half is going to be 1 to the right and 1 half up. So there I've drawn it as close as I can. Now we just grab the ruler, connect the dots, and there it is the plot of the linear function. We just have to add the arrows and the label. Now you can see the clear contrast between the two lines. The one where the x was multiplied by a positive number slopes up, while the one where x is multiplied by a negative number slopes down. But that's a topic for a future video lecture. Thank you for watching.